pieces. Yeah, I mean, once uh, we've seen it, we can't unsee it, as Anna said. And it pretty much looks like the only active move. Otherwise, you just suffer passively, and that's the last thing you want to do um, in chess in general, but especially at this top level. Um, let's jump in and ask ourselves, is it too late? Can Ding free himself from the black bind here? Uh, pawn to a4. Um, oh, the bar does drop. Oh, it drops a lot, so it might be too late. Why is it too late? Let's take a look and captures. I assume we capture, and this is the moment where um, I guess our rook is attacked. Maybe we just shift it. I mean, I, the problem is I just don't see anything for white to do. This pin is really annoying. Um, I'm guessing there might have been a difference to do with, for example, if the white... Uh, Oh, look at Ding on the camera. I was going to say if the white rook could shift up to d5 and e5 wasn't protected, as it is now, mm. uh, one move previously, yeah. then there might have been some counterplay. But I think that's the key, David, and, and I think we should show it because that is a huge difference that in the other position... They